hundreds of people marched through Ghana's capital, Accra, in a peaceful protest against unlicensed gold mining, calling on authorities to act against the dangerous and environmentally damaging practice. Illegal small-scale gold mining, known as Galamse, in Ghana, has picked up this year following an almost 30% rise in global gold prices. Here's a report. Elations and chants reverberated across Ghana's capital of Accra. Hundreds of people marched in a peaceful protest against unlicensed gold mining calling on authorities to act against the dangerous and environmentally damaging practice. Illegal small-scale gold mining, known as Galamsi in Ghana, has picked up this year following an almost 30% rise in global gold prices. So this hard work is also to support the work and the command that God gave us to be good stewardship of the environment. Now, we have even heard that it has become increasingly very difficult for some churches to find good water to even baptize a new convicts. And that is an issue because of the pollution of the environment. At an unlicensed gold mine in Ghana, men in t-shirts, shorts and rubber boots wade through pools of muddy water laced with mercury. Pull out rocks with bare hands and operate a rickety sluice as they search for the precious ore. The ramshackle mine is part of a booming business that is generating livelihoods and informal revenue streams for Ghana's economy. Even as it harms miners' health, pollutes waterways, destroys forests and cocoa farms and fuels crime. Before I was start, in fact, now I was not having anything. So I made myself say no, me to have to go inside and get something. But the time entering inside, I get some about 60,000. So I go in and I took boys and we start doing the galancy. The unlicensed gold mining industry has grown at a breakneck pace this year. About 40% of Ghana's total gold output comes from small mines, as opposed to concessions operated by multinational firms. Some 70 to 80% of the small mines are unlicensed. Our current president and the next president to come must, they, must make Galamse a major uh, priority. In fact, mining a major priority. If we are going to mine, we should make sure that we are mining and then we are not spoiling our environment, we are not entering into our forest reserves, and then we are not contaminating our water. And then once that is done, we are good to go. The fundamental cause of illegal mining is getting a place for them to work. That's, that's the main issue. And for three decades, uh, uh, governments upon government or government after government will not pay heed to it. Small-scale mines produced 1.2 million ounces of gold in the first seven months this year, more than in the whole of 2023. This is according to data from Ghana's mining sector regulator. But the boom in a practice that harms society and the environment has spurred calls and protests to clamp down. It has also become a hot-button electoral issue as Ghana heads to the polls on December 7th for a general election. The march followed plans by labor unions for a nationwide strike against the issue this week that were partially called off after the government made promising provisions, according to local media reports citing the organizers. Africa Bureau, Vion, World is One. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.